talk about the iPad itself. Now that you've seen a demonstration of what it can do, let's go over what what's the features of it, the actual features of the actual device, not a simulator. So it's got a gorgeous 9.7-inch uh, touchscreen IPS technology, which means it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a better screen. It displays colors more accurately. So photographers, you know, viewing their photos won't get like dis discolorations or whatever. IPS is, is a standard used in high-end, very, very high-end monitors. Most monitors you buy for like under 300 bucks, you think it's a bargain for uh, 20, 20 something inches. Those screens are actually not IPS, they're TN panels. I forgot what it, uh, TN means, like the uh, what it stands for, but the technology here is, is it's just incredible. There's 132 PPIs, uh, 1024 by 768 pixel resolution, like I said before. It's LED backlit, um, something that the iPhone iPod Touch is not. So sometimes um, I hear reports of uh, iPod, iPhone, um, the, the screen being having a little bleed, yet it's still using CCFL because it's cheaper and, uh, well, you know. Um, 1,000 points of touch, like someone said, uh, or, or like um, Jobs uh, claimed. 1,000 points of touch is more accurate to your finger gestures and tracks your finger just more accurately because you have more uh, touch points. Usual wireless and cellular, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 2.1. Uh, 3G has the you know 3G stuff. It's also got Edge as well, so it's not just 3G. It's also a modem. Location's got compass like the iPod 3. I mean iPhone 3GS, GPS uh, and cellular. Well, that's you know what was already mentioned. Um, comes with three accessories, or okay, it doesn't come with accessories, but you can buy three accessories. The case, which um, the iPad case, which I, Apple's making, doubles as a um, stand and whatnot, uh, keyboard dock and regular dock. Or this is a keyboard dock, but there's a regular dock somewhere. There's you go. There you go. Regular dock. Um, I iPad connection camera connection kit. I know this one on the, if you zoom in, I'll just zoom in for you guys. I know this one is an SD card reader, but what is this? It doesn't look like an SD card because relative to the size, uh, well, I can't really show you the size, but uh, this doesn't look an SD card. Is, is that a, um, I'm not really sure what it is. Is that a USB port? Is it, because it's I'm only seeing the side view or the top view with a little bit of, you know, angle to it. I can't really see the, the view of this port here. Uh, you can buy another power cable. Usual um, suspects. Now switching to over design, the 3G model right away you'll notice this black bar on top that allows for extra or better compatibility with or better signal reception. Apple managed to build Wi-Fi only into this all aluminum chassis design, but for 3G you obviously need more room than um, you know. So it's more uh, signal coverage. So you always you would just cut a little slot at the top. I for one will be getting the Wi-Fi model, re reviewing it for you guys. And within my 14 day return limit, return day uh, policy, I will return it and buy the uh, 3G model um, after it comes out because the 3G model comes out about 30 days after the Wi-Fi model, which comes out in 50 something days. I didn't really count. Um, on the top, you have headphone and uh, don't know what that is. Light sensor. I don't know. This uh, probably the home button, or not the home button, the the sleep wake button and on off button, like the you know to when you when you sleep your iPod. Foul connector speakers. I don't know why they put speakers on one side versus spreading them out on the, on either sides, but um, this is a first generation product, so there's bound to be, there's bound to be flaws and bugs and uh, a lot of discontent with them with uh, between people. So that, here's another view. I'll give it 360 before I go on to my thoughts. It's a little bit slow. There you go. Now in the simulator, you'll notice that I didn't have mail, I didn't have photos, I didn't have iPod, I didn't have anything. All I had was settings and so, and, and, that, and, and contacts and uh, no maps, nothing. Um, well, that's expected on a simulator. Now design, um, before I get to the thing, design is really nice because it has a built, the Apple really incorporate all their technologies. For example, um, the nice screen that are now on the MacBook Pros and the uh, MacBooks. Um, the, the, I mean the screen, the screen panels, the actual LCD panel that goes into the MacBook and MacBook Pros, both laptops and new iMacs, including 21 and 27 inch iMacs, they use the IPS display. They're high quality, last generation only. The upper end models, the high end models had nice displays. The lower end models had high quality TN panels. But TN panels, they're just even the best TN panels is is is, is crap compared to a IPS panel, even the worst IPS. So. LED backlit for all, uh, multi-touch. It's thin, it's 0.5 inches thin, 1.5 pounds, about half as light as a MacBook Air, I believe. 
um, or maybe, I, I don't know, I don't have a MacBook Air and I don't have the specs on top of my head. Um, 10 hours battery life, so again, Apple made their, put their um, battery te technology to use here. Um, performance, connectivity, they built their own one gigahertz uh, A4 chip. I believe it's it's based on the ARM Cortex A9 design. So only only one other chip right now on the market has the is based on the core uh, our Cortex A9. Um, Nvidia's Tegra 2. Now don't get that confused with Tegra 1 because Tegra 1 still is based upon the Cortex A8. Um, all iPhone, I mean iPhone 3GS and iPod Touch third generation, um, excluding the 8GB iPod Touch, those are based on the Cortex A9, A8 design. A8. A and a number 8. This one's based on A9, and only one other chip, again, is based upon an A9 design, and that's the NVIDIA Tegra 2. Now, um, even Qualcomm Snapdragon is based upon A8, so you'll see better performance here than on uh, Nexus Nexus 1. Nexus 1 actually costs about the same, give or, give or take. And also, I, although you can't make phone call phone calls, you can actually make VOIP phone calls because Apple let the VOIP protocol on the on the uh, SDK slide, so you can use that and build the VOIP connections. Now, if you have 3G and you're paying $30 a month for the unlimited 3, uh, 3G service, you can just use VOIP all your all throughout the day. But you can't make, a, there's no multitasking yet, so you can't, uh, the iPhone has ba limited multitasking, so it's not like truly non-multitasking, but this one, the iPad so far, we have I haven't seen it, but the demonstrations and rumors, no multitasking. You can't even make a phone call in the middle of an app without exiting the app. And if you have, if you get, if you launch an application through a phone, uh, through the phone call, then you'll lose the, the connection. So moving on to my thoughts, I think I'm approaching my 10 minute limit. Moving on to my thoughts, I believe the iPad is uh, for a first generation product. It's pretty nice. It's much better of a deal to buy than the Nexus One because mainly because it's bigger, better. I mean, Nexus One, the, the touchscreen accuracy is, is is completely garbage. You can draw your finger in a straight line, and and it will be like the sidestepping wavy gesture. Like it, it won't be straight. It will be it look like a like stairs. This is just really wobbly. And uh, while that may not matter for some, when you're typing on a, since the Nexus One doesn't have a keyboard and you're typing on the keyboard, it's very important that your finger is sensed wherever you want you put your finger so it's as accurate as possible that's what i find with the ipad again data plan is the same as the iphone iphone costs about 30 dollars a month for unlimited data this one costs 30 dollars as well you can pay for 250 megabytes um for 15 bucks let's move on to my thoughts again i'm, I'm digre digressing uh digressing from this i think the battery technology and the displays and the for on on this first generation product is really nice it's not gonna it's not a I was actually hoping it would run Mac OS 10, but again, I don't really need something like that on this. I just need something simple that I can just check a bunch of things, uh, which is what the iPad will do. I can browse news articles and stuff like that, and it's just a bigger iPad. I mean, a bigger iPod or iPhone, um, more powerful, better screen, um, bigger screen, and uh, it will last longer, right? It will last a month on standby and 10 hours of doing uh, watching video, 10 hours of watching. Um, uh, 10 hours of surfing on a Wi-Fi and watching videos, um, 140 hours plus on music, according to your jobs himself during an interview. So I think really nice product. You got if you guys have the 500 bucks and you're or you were um, you had an old iPod Touch or old iPhone and you're looking to upgrade, this would be a nice upgrade. Although you can't, you won't be able to use it as, as a traditional phone. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys um, in the next video. Again, I have a new channel. It's called the iPad Reviewer. So go check that as well. I'll have a link in the description box. Um, it's just youtube.com slash the iPad Reviewer. The iPad Reviewer. Very simple. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Peace.